Good morning, fans of Privateer Effects coming at you on Thursday, 15 November. Stocks got smoked yesterday. Dollar yen went lower. That was all well and good. Couldn't quite hold those lows in dollar yen when 13.28, but this looks like another area where you can add to shorts if we get a breakthrough there. You see it's kind of a daily pivot now. 113.30 was a break up there beginning of the month. Don't expect this to make a new high today, so we'll just core short dollar yen um, until we get back above 114 the figure. Euro shorts got taken out yesterday. Bit of a shame, but it's alright. We made a little bit of money on that. Although we did leave a fair bit on the table um, because we were looking for a much bigger move. But such is uh, the life of foreign exchange. The high was 50. Kind of looks like we're gonna we're gonna try this high today, and we're gonna keep going higher. I'm not really sure why. Um, the story doesn't make much sense to me, so we're certainly not gonna play this from the long side. And we're just kind of sitting and watching um, euro dollar for now. Our pal dollars are. We got given some in the 30s yesterday. Now it's feeling slightly awkward here at 27. I don't think this is going to get um, below 18. And so this is kind of reload territory for dollars are for us. Aussie employment last night was good. Broke this critical 50 area. Tricky that Aussie, gotta say. Um, all the way down to 72.10 there. We're not like laughing and skipping with glee uh, about buying Aussie. We probably will make a new high um, as Euro kind of squeezes higher a little bit, but it's a sell Aussie. The story is, is negative. The China story is negative. Although the dollar CNH is 693. We'll be looking to sell Aussie on the 73 handle, let's put it that way. Just like we'll probably be looking to sell uh, Euro dollar on the high 113s. Euro yen hasn't done much overnight, stuck in the middle. Dollar CAD should be lower uh, with Aussie higher oil higher. The big gossip is that uh, spreads trade in uh, nat gas oil was the cause of that big down move. I don't know if it's true. There's a few uh, blog sites out there who, who, uh, who detail it a little bit more specifically. Um, so if that, but if that was the case, then uh, it really hurts our story about global slowdown. If it's just some big fun puking, um, then it's just capitulation. So, but my point is, is oil's two bucks higher, dollars turned, dollar Canada is one thirty two twenty nine. That should be lower, uh, and core short dollar Canada just for a trade uh, looks okay today definitely not going to marry that because uh, we do think uh, rates in the U.S. are still going to stay high and dollar will eventually return to its bid status. As you can see the charts aren't amazing today. Oh yeah, let's talk about cable. Um, you know, what a, what a fuck job this is. 128.80, 130.60, 129.78. Uh, I would say this: if you're below the age of 32 and you have no fucking idea what Brexit is, go ahead and trade some cable um, because it is moving. And if you're good at price action, there's money to be made. Uh, but if you're like me, closer to 50, um, and you study Brexit uh, a lot. 
just leave it alone. Don't trade it. Total waste of time. Um, you know, as far as I know, and people I talk to, again, this is the older crowd. There's many, many steps to go on this, uh, and it's still in clusterfuck uh, mode. So, no clue on cable. There is volatility there, so if you want to sling it around and you're a youngster, go for it. But if you want to try and figure out what the story is and trade a direction, stay away. Well, there's my cable sermon. That is now over. God bless you all, and have a good day. Ciao.